Kelvin Hepner with Real Agriculture. We're at the Canadian Beef Industry Conference here in Calgary and joined by Adrian Good of the University of Saskatchewan. And Adrian, you've been looking at comparing soybean meal versus canola meal. Of course, we have plenty of canola meal in, in Western Canada, soybean meal more popular in terms of feeding uh, feeder cattle in, in other parts of the world. What have you found when you compare these two uh, different protein sources? Um, what I've found throughout feedlot trials and my metabolism trials is that canola meal is pretty much similar to soybean meal in uh, growth effects, in carcass quality, and in total diet digestibility, which is a really good thing for canola producers because that means that we are equal to the gold standard for the protein supplements worldwide. Okay, and that gold standard is in many it's ways soybean, soybean meal. meal yes. Yeah. So a lot of this research has been done on the, the dairy side. We see a fair amount of canola meal going into the U.S. dairy industry. Would this be similar then in a, a feedlot sense? Um, it could be similar, yeah. I know it's been really well researched in dairy where you can get an extra liter of milk when you feed canola meal. Um, we don't see as much canola meal going for feedlots in the U.S. We use it some more here, but we do see some flowing out. Okay. So what sort of research had been done until now or prior to this when it comes to canola meal going into a feedlot ration? There hasn't been a whole lot yet. Um, we're kind of at the forefront here for the feedlot. There's been a lot of work in dairy, um, a lot of in poultry and swine, but not a whole lot in beef yet. So it's kind of nice to get some out there for so, us. So why is that if we have plenty of canola available? I'm not really sure, honestly. It's just kind of we're the last of the party, I guess. <laughs> okay. So where do you see it going then from here? Do you see feedlots not only in Western Canada using it, or, or does it expand beyond that? Other parts I think it could expand a lot now that we have the data that shows that it is equal to soybean meal, that it is equal to wheat distiller's grains. I think it's going to spread a lot more. Okay. So when you say equal, what, is it, what does that mean? We get equal performance from the cattle. Okay on what sort of metrics or how do you compare that? Um, so we looked at average daily gain, gain to feed, um, final growth weight. Um, we did a feed cost per kilogram of gain and they were almost essentially equal with canola saving a little bit of money. So Okay, and I guess that's the thing. Adoption will depend on the economics yes, of it. Yes, that always is the thing with feed plots. Where would that fit right now or where how would it rank right now? I guess it depends on how available you have canola meal yeah. close to you. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more available out west, and so we do save a lot of money feeding canola meal out west. So, okay. so finally then, Adrian, where do you see this going, or, or what's the, the next step in terms of this research that needs to be done, or, or is this it? Does this, now it's a matter of the industry recognizing this? It, I think it's mostly the industry recognizing it. Um, we could do some more cow-calf thing, but I think with feedlots, it is mostly just the industry uptake, or increasing their Okay, case. well thanks for your time, and enjoy the rest of the conference here, Adrian. <laughs>